Greetings. This week, we're just taking time to remind ourselves of all who Jesus is to us and put our eyes on Him and just tell Him, Lord, we love you. Thank you for coming into this world. Thank you for being all that you are to us today. And we just want to pause, look to Him and say, Lord, thank you. I want to remind us today that Jesus is our good and great shepherd. In John chapter 10 and verse 11, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd because the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. In Hebrews 13 verses 20 and 21, it says, uh, it refers to Jesus, the one whom who God brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, that he make, will make us complete in every good work to do his will. Jesus is our good shepherd and our great shepherd. You know, when you think about the shepherd and the sheep, the shepherd does so much for the sheep. The sheep are really innocent little creatures. You know, they just go on wandering around here and there, grazing here and there. Do they understand everything on the world, of the, about the world around them? Not very much. They're just looking at their own little things. But the shepherd cares for the sheep. He takes them safely to where they need to go, where they can graze, where they can have water. He protects the sheep. He takes care of them if they are injured and hurt. If they get lost, he goes and finds them, brings them back. And he keeps them safe, secure. He does everything. He does all of that for the sheep. And Jesus, using that metaphor, using that picture, says, look, I am like that for you. I am your good shepherd. And I will be your shepherd even to the point of giving up my life for you, for your sake. And that's exactly what he did when he went to the cross. He's that good shepherd. And he's that great shepherd, meaning he's the ultimate shepherd of our lives. There's no one better. There's no one who can do this better than him. So he's the great shepherd. You know, the sheep is innocent. The sheep may not even realize what the shepherd is doing every day. And how true that is for us as well. You know, we go through life and we may not even be conscious or may not even be aware. We may not even stop to think how Jesus is being that good and great shepherd in our lives how He is watchful over us, how He is protecting us from harm and danger, how sometimes He steers our path and we don't even realize that He's actually steering our path and keeping us away from things that could harm us and uh, sometimes destroy our lives. How He comes to heal wounds and injuries in our lives, how He gently leads us and how He safely keeps us, how He brings us back when we go astray, that good and great shepherd. Let's take some time this week, today, to look to him and say, thank you, Lord Jesus, for being that good and great shepherd. I may not understand, I may not even realize what you've been doing in my life, but I want to say thank you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, many times we even fail to recognize, to think about what you're doing in our lives as our shepherd who's watching over us, keeping our souls. But today we pause, we say thank you for being that good and great shepherd for us, so great, so good that you were even willing to give your life for us. There's no one better, there's no one greater. And we say thank you. We love you. We want to love you all over again, over and over again. We want to Fall in love with you afresh. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.